comes okay. from the tread area. Okay. And there's two primary uh, areas that that comes in. One is rubber compounding, okay. and the other one is tread design. Okay. And in rubber compounding, what we what we try to do is minimize the amount of energy that the uh, that the tire creates. And we use what's called a low hysteresis rubber compound. Yeah. What and does hysteresis mean again? Hysteresis is the is the property of rubber that would cause generate more heat okay. as it moves through the contact path. Okay. Okay. So the idea is to minimize the amount of energy loss there is, therefore heat created when the rubber compound is moving through the uh, contact patch. Okay. Okay. The second major area of effect in the uh, in the tread area is the tread design, and in the tread design, what we've done is the idea is to create uh, good wear, good traction, but without unnecessary movement. Okay. And in doing this, we have created uh, matrix siping. Mm -hmm. And what this is, is you have siping, which presents an edge to the road as it rotates down unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. So we have zigzag features sideways and up and down inside the site that lock it in place, okay. therefore making it act yeah. like a block, but, but uh, perform like a site. Yeah, where, is it? where are the siping on these tires? And this is the, the sipes that are okay. in the tire, and they go down uh, to within about 8 to 10, 30 seconds of the base okay. of the tire. And that prevents that prevents wiggle, that, 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 that movement. The idea is to, to grip, mm -hmm. but, but uh, not create any more movement than you absolutely have to in, uh, in doing that. Okay.